Hello people, welcome back to another episode of Relating Me and You, You and Me through YouTube. And here I am with another video and we all know fashion week is going on all around the world. So I thought a perfect high fashion look should be the one that should be going on on our channel. So this is the look that we created and the model that I've used here is Veshali. She is one of my old students and she's a model now. I will drop her Instagram down below just in case you want to check it out. She looked absolutely stunning and I think she carried this look very very well. And now let's just directly get into the video. Let's begin. And we are going to start with skincare first. She had oily skin so I used a very lightweight gel based moisturizer on her and it just worked fine with her because when I use a gel based moisturizer that makes sure that there is not too much oil but at the same time it helps moisturize your skin because no matter your skin type you have to moisturize your skin really well before doing any kind of makeup to make sure that your makeup looks really really beautiful and then I use this Smashbox primerizer to use it as a primer now as we earlier used a gel based moisturizer it was important that i have a little extra moisturizer here on our skin so i use this primerizer which primers and at the same time moisturizes your skin so a perfect combination and taking this mac palette i am using this orange shade from the palette to color correct her acne marks she had very very beautiful skin and i didn't have to do much on her skin so that was very nice but i just have to cover teeny tiny pigmentation around her mouth and acne marks that she had so i apply, used that orange color corrector to do that and then to make sure that my color corrector doesn't get mixed up with my foundation i took a little bit of loose powder like very tiny bit and fixed that orange color corrector with that again when i apply foundation on top of this it is going to make sure that both of them do their own job and do not get mixed up this is one trick that i would like to give everyone because this is a very big problem generally a makeup artist faces that their color correctors get mixed up with the foundation and the foundation change completely so i would suggest that whenever you are doing color correction make sure you apply a little bit of powder on top of it and then apply the foundation like i'm doing here and when i'm applying foundation i'm doing it very 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 light handedly so that again the product that is beneath does not get moved and the foundation i'm using is maybelline fit me and the products that i am going to use here all of them are going to be listed down in the description box and you will find them in the right sequence as they are used in the video with color shades and everything so again if you are interested in what i am using go and check the description box and now i am covering everything up with the foundation with very very light hands to make sure that that orange color does not peep through my foundation because if it does it's not going to look very flaunting on her skin so yeah very light handedly going all over her face but i am not going very close to the circumference of her face neither am i going close to the eyes so basically my funda here is that i will go all across her neck and her ears and cover everything so that everything looks like one tone but i am not going along the circumference or under her eyes because there are other products that i'm going to use and i am taking my beauty blender nicely spritzing it with my setting spray and going all over to make sure that everything is blended and the setting spray on the beauty blender is going to make sure that everything sets on place so the makeup is going to be really long lasting now i took this darker shade which is easily three to four to four uh, shades darker from her skin tone and i'm going to use this as my contour because i think a concealer or a foundation like really good coverage foundation works very well for contour if you already see her jawline looks so much more defined because of the darker shade that i'm using and also i'm going across the circumference of her face to just bronze it up a little give it a little bit of warmth so that it doesn't look like a blank canvas i want her face to have really sculpted look she already has a very geometrical face so i think this kind of looks is going to be very good for her face shape so in just going all across the circumference little by little i pick up very little product so make sure if you are doing this you also pick up very very little product and go little by little it is easy to build products up but if you go in excess it is going to be very difficult to tone it down so i would always suggest that if you are going over with something take less product and build it up slowly that would help your base look really nice 
and now coming to the concealer i am using this smashbox concealer you might think this shade is very light for her but it is not when i apply it on her under eyes i am again not going very close to her under eyes because i don't need that i am going to apply eye shadow and everything so when i apply eye shadow under her eyes it's going to nicely get blended into her concealer and everything is going to look like one so always i try to keep my products a little away from the eyes because if i keep it too close to her eyelashes i think that would enhance your under eye lines and all those things which i don't want to do so i just keep it a little little away and i think it looks amazing like it doesn't enhance your under lines and this is also a very good trick for people with mature skin you know when you have when you are doing makeup on mature skin uh, apply product little like tiny product because that just helps make sure that the product is in the right amount and there are no enhancement of fine lines and wrinkles so i'm just enhancing the center of her face with this concealer and i'm also sculpting below her uh, what do you say cheekbones no i don't know what is that area called so i'm just highlighting that region to give her face a little more sculpt which you can clearly see the difference this uh, highlight gives so much more sculpt to your face so if you want a really sculpted face i would advise to do your concealer and contour this way it chisels out your face really well and i am again taking the beauty blender which has setting spray on it and going all across her face to blend everything in make sure you give your time in blending blending is going to change the game for you it is going to change the way your makeup looks so if you give time in blending your makeup is going to look flawless but if you don't then nobody can guarantee the kind of base you are going to have so give your time in blending but do not blend it out you know you don't want the products to disappear so having that right balance is very important and now going over with a cream blush i am using this cream blush and i am starting from the cheek bones because again the placement of your blush is going to decide how your face is going to look if you see i have placed the blush on the cheek bones and it is looking very very beautiful it is give adding more shape to her face and i am bringing very tiny bit towards the center most of it is concentrated along the temples of her face and it's giving her face a more structure so this is what we are doing and we are also chatting a little bit because after all we met after a very long time so a well deserved chat and of course i had to go over with a powder so i'm just powdering the center of her face which is very oily and i am powdering her under eyes to make sure it doesn't crease and the oily region of the face if you belong to dry skin family i would say that you don't need this step but if you are from oily family just powder where it is required wherever you sweat or oil more so that's the trick here and i am going to bronze her face here i am starting with the cheekbones whenever i am doing contour or bronze i like to start with the jawline because that just gives me a proper idea of what i should be doing and where i should be doing and i am just putting it where it is required like her jawline was really i wanted to make it look really sharp so i did her jawline a little bit tiny bit on her forehead and then obviously the cheekbones and after that well sculpted face we had to go over with a blush again applying from the circumference of her face and coming towards the center keeping it very near to her uh, cheekbones and the temple region because that's going to add a little more shape and sculpt to her face and bringing a tiny bit towards the center just to give it a flush and tie everything together but i don't want to apply blush towards the cheek towards the cheek region or the apple region of the cheek because i think that just adds a little plump to your face which i didn't require here proceeding towards the eyebrows i wanted her eyebrows to look very natural but very well filled in i didn't wanted to give her a very snatched brows neither those gel soapy brows so i used a combination of a brow pomade and a pencil to give a right balance and give her very natural looking nicely filled well groomed brows 
I think the pomade I used to provide the shape to the brows and then filled it in with a nice pencil to give it the right balance and then brushed them through and it just looked like what I wanted. And proceeding towards the eyes now, I am using P. Louise base to add as a eye primer and cover, those, cover that tiny bit of pigmentation that her eyelid had and also cleaning the brows from underneath. So it's a product that's doing all of that for me and using this Nikki X Beauty Bay palette and taking a lighter brown shade, I am applying it all across the eyelid and little bit around the crease to provide a little depth and dimension to her eyes. Otherwise it would look very uh, blank. So I wanted to add that dimension and sculpt to her eyes. And then taking this darker brown shade, I am adding depth to the outer corner and the crease region of her eyes. I am majorly concentrating it to the outer corner, blending it just on the outer corner in small circular motion. And then with whatever residue of product I had, I am taking it around the crease. do all of the step very patiently because blending is the game again so do it very patiently don't rush into anything and then i'm taking this nice shade it's a pinky bluish shade which has a very very beautiful reflex to it you see how beautiful it looks on the eyes so it is a very nice uh, multi reflexive reflective kind of a shade which was very very beautiful like in real life it was looking so beautiful uh, obviously the camera is not doing justice to it so i brought that shade out towards the temple region and i'm also bringing it along the cheekbones to kind of act as a highlight this is going to tie everything together so it's that uh, purplish pinkish kind of a shade and it just melted into the blush like anything I am using the warmth of my finger to blend that blush and that eye shade together and it looked beautiful. And now with a clean blending brush, I'm just blending everything in and that's a high fashion eye look. It's very quick to create and very beautiful looking. And then I'm taking this glitter glue and I am applying it just below her eyebrows. That's the brow bone and I am using this chunky glitter that I had and I am just placing it on the brow bone where you would generally place a highlighter. I think this uh, this chunky glitter is just adding that extra pop we needed to make it a little different than the usual high fashion look and it definitely did the job. And I used a few combination of lipsticks here. The list of all the lipsticks that I used to create the shade that we have will be in the description box. And this is how everything is looking. What do you think? I think it turned out very, very beautiful. She is looking stunning. And that's all for this video. If you like it, give it a big fat thumbs up. And if there is anything else that you want me to make videos on, drop it in the comment section below. And I'll be more, more, more than happy to do it. Until then, take care. Ta-da!